Hey there, LT. Sergeant Mathen reporting for duty with Fun Toys in tow, sir. Eddie, Sergeant. Let's see what you got for me. First item of business is your detonator, sir. A Zerka Arms 53R high-yield thermite explosive. Guaranteed to get a party started. Or ended. What's the blast radius? How far away should I be when this thing detonates? Well, tempting as it is to watch this thing go off, you'll want to be a good way off when it does, sir. Now, the comm relay you're going after is in the works, an industrial area on the lower levels of Coruscant. It's a dangerous place, LT. Besides the Imperials you're bound to find, the rogue service droids down there will squash anyone they can get their big metal claws around. Thanks for the warning, Sergeant. Just doing my job, LT. Once you've made your way to the relay, plant that detonator on the generator coupling at the center and clear out of there before it goes off. That's all there is to it, LT. I won't hold you up any longer. Good luck. We got some guys here. Seven, four, seven. Three more. Still alive, huh? You really should have gotten out of this while you were ahead, soldier. Now you're a risk to Tavis and the rest of my people. So Havoc Squad or not, I'm going to have to kill you. You don't have to do anything. You always have a choice, sir. I've made my choice. Tavis, Wraith, Needles, Gearbox, Fuse. They're like my children, and I abandoned them. I resigned and left them to fight alone, just to make a point. They need my help now more than ever. I'm not going to abandon them. Not this time. This th but you're helping the Empire. The Imperials are the enemy. You aren't one of them. The Republic came just as close to killing me as the Empire ever did. As far as I'm concerned, everyone's my enemy. I know you're trying to get into my head, soldier, but it's not gonna work. I'm not manipulating you. Think what you want, Cardin. Doesn't make my point any less true. All I know is that you're really trying my patience, soldier. I don't even understand what you're trying to convince me of here. I'm trying to keep my people alive, and it's your mission to kill them. That's all there is to this, soldier. General Garza sent me to get your help. She wants to bring your people in alive. Not sure if I'd buy that. But then again, if she sent you to kill me, we wouldn't still be talking, would we? Hmm. You've already compromised the relay. Even if we take you out, it's only a matter of time until Garza has this place slagged for a click in every direction. And by now, Garza will know exactly where all the defector bases are. They'll be tethered banthas, cut off from each other and all... Excuse me, sir, but shouldn't we be... The Imperials might offer help, but it won't be much. They'll all be left to die. You can make a difference. Tavis and the others will follow your lead. If you come in peacefully, they will too. Damn. I can't believe it's come to this. Sir? All right, soldier. I'll go along with this. But if you harm a single one of my people, you will be dead within the day. Understood? If your people won't come peacefully, they'll still have to be dealt with. And if you kill one of them, you'll be dead within the day. That's a promise. Let's get on with this, soldier. I can't allow you to go into enemy custody alive, Garden. Are you still here? The op's over, people. Finished. Mission failed. So get out of here while you still got the legs to carry you. You leave me no choice, sir. Ready your weapons, men. <laughs> Come 
want. Alright, I got new stuff. What is this? Reminds me of old times. Here's my weapon. Consider me surrendered. I'll make my way up to the Senate Tower and turn myself in. See what Garza wants to do next. You've made the right choice. I'm glad to have you back on our side. I never said I was on your side, soldier. I'm doing this for my people, not for your Republic or anything else. Anyhow, I'm sure we'll meet again. I'm glad I had a chance to fight with you, sir. Yeah, I guess it was nice to finally stretch my legs out a bit. See you topside, soldier. Let's go take out that relay and give Card's little baby something to think about. Ah, the hero of the hour. I'm proud of you, Lieutenant. You've done well. Thank you, General. Just doing my job. Jack Carden walked up to the Senate Tower's front door and surrendered himself in broad daylight. I never thought I'd see the day. Carden's help will give us quite an edge against Tavis and the others. I'm glad you could change his mind. Where is he now? Do we have Carden in a secure location? Shortly. First, we'll make sure he doesn't have any tricks up his sleeves. I haven't come this far by taking chances. The Justicar's computer files included messages relayed between four locations. Our technicians are working to pinpoint those locations now. There can be no doubt that the messages will lead us to the other traitors. Thanks to your efforts, we'll be able to bring them all to justice very soon. I'm glad our plan has worked out so far. Possibly a bit too well. One of the traitors has already moved against us. Wraith. You remember Senator Krasul from your meeting with the Senate earlier? Wraith kidnapped him from his home just afterward. We've tracked them to a remote space station called Port Raga. How could Wraith manage to kidnap a Republic Senator? Wraith was chosen for Havoc Squad for a reason. Her skills are exceptional. One of our teams is already en route to Port Raga. They'll investigate the situation and give you a detailed report on arrival. You've accomplished some amazing things, Lieutenant. But there's no time for a break yet. Whatever Wraith is planning, we cannot allow her to succeed. Understood? What about transport, General? Havoc Squad requires its own starship for operational flexibility. Our ship has already been transferred to your command. It's waiting at the spaceport now. Thank you very much. Put it to good use, Lieutenant. Fly to Port Raga and meet with the advance team immediately. Your orders are to rescue Senator Krasul and capture or eliminate Wraith at all costs. Good luck, Lieutenant. Dismissed. Let's get out there and take down some traitors. Master at last! I am C2N2, steward of this vessel. It is my extreme good fortune to serve you. Why would General Garza saddle me with some overblown protocol droid? You're not even armor-plated. Every soldier requires proper logistics to function. I provide the highest support level available. C2 series droids represent the latest advances in everything from starship technical maintenance to nutritional advice tailored for your specific organic needs. Welcome aboard the Rendili Hyperworks BT-7 Thunderclap, a rapid assault craft designed especially for Republic Special Forces at enormous taxpayer expense. 
Along with the usual accommodations, you'll find a secure captain's locker for storing valuables. Your bridge contains an ever-updating map of the galaxy. It's quite beautiful to look at. Priority alerts from the Republic Network are accessible at the Holonet console. Long-range communications are available via the Holo Terminal. And finally, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to meet. Do you have any questions, Master? Prep the ship for flight. We're leaving shortly. The ship is fueled and ready, Master. There are just a few final points we should review first. As you can see, I am not equipped for physical danger. My function is to maintain the starship as your home away from home. I am happy to assist you with any non-hazardous task, of course. I pride myself on the utmost attention to detail. Hmm. Add a little armor, some combat protocols and a blaster, and you just might be worth something. Master, please. Any non-factory modification will void my warranty. Whenever you are ready to depart, consult the galaxy map on the bridge. The ship's computers will handle the rest. Calling Coruscant Spaceport Authority. Request permission to depart. You are clear for departure. Have a pleasant flight. So, Havoc Squad. The best of the best. Can't say I'm thrilled about the demotion, but it's an honor to be here, sir. Welcome aboard. How are you holding up? You mean after watching Tavis flush my career down the fresher? What do you think? Four years at the Academy, seven years in the field, decorations, commendations. Would have made captain soon if command hadn't hung me out to dry. We both know Tavis's defection wasn't your fault. Tell that to the brass when they need a scapegoat. But hey, water under the bridge. Command put me in havoc to help you find Tavis and I intend to do just that. I've hunted Imperials from one side of the galaxy to the next. Used to command the Deadeyes, finest sniper squad in the Republic. I'm not familiar with that outfit. No? Maybe I'll tell you about them sometime. I reviewed your service record before that ZR-57 op. Been meaning to discuss it with you. Says you served in the Outer Rim. Knew a lot of good men who fought out there. Heard it was brutal. Warfare like that can change a person. Make them reckless. Unstable. I can handle myself. You saw how I handled things on Ord Mantell. I know what I'm doing. Taking on that SEP army single-handedly showed guts, not leadership. When I signed on with the Dead Eyes, my CO was Lieutenant Vorn. Certified war hero, as decorated as they come. When he gave an order, we trusted it, followed it to the letter. A squad needs that kind of commitment to operate effectively. And what do I say? I expect you to give me that same level of dedication. I always give 100%. That's not the issue. Havoc Squad is the Republic's most elite outfit. We tackle the missions no one else can handle. Traitor or no, Tavis is a tough act to follow. You think you're up to it? You bet. I wouldn't be leading Havoc Squad if I didn't. Hmm. Good answer. You've got confidence and plenty of raw talent. Maybe you'll pull this off. You think Havoc will start shaping into an actual squad soon? I'll recruit more soldiers as soon as I find some Havoc-worthy candidates. Makes sense. Once this unit starts growing, people's expectations of us, of you, are only gonna get bigger. That CO post could get real heavy, real quick. Someone needs to run Havoc Squad. Commanding a squad is no cakewalk. Nothing worse than having to choose between the success of the mission and the lives of your men. That said, 
A leader can't be soft on his troops. Coddling your men will only get them killed. You've got a point. I'll keep it in mind. I'm sure you'll do fine. You've gotten us this far.